guys, it's Aspen from The Polished Forest, and today's video is four different stamping techniques. So what you're going to need for this video, besides regular polish, obviously, first things first, you're going to need a stamping plate. So, today I'm going to be using this Silhouette stamping plate. Then I'm also using this Slytherin stamping plate. Do I love using the different designs, and as you can see, I have Slytherin nose right now, I'm wearing... I got both of those stamping plates at this store right here. Uh, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but that's how it's spelled. The stamper I'm using today is also from that website. I'll be putting that in the description box. Oh yeah, I also have a 10% off code for you if you use the code THEM10. So you can get 10% off of anything on their website. Another thing that you're going to need to stamp that I learned because I was doing it for the longest time I was using regular polish to stamp and it wasn't working at all. I was getting really frustrated and I asked people and they told me that I need a good stamping polish. So I'm using this stamping polish from Bundle Monster today. I will put the link to those where I got those in the description box so go check that out. Yeah. Let's get started. Start off with a base coat of your choice. I'm using Orly Nail Armor. Applying a base coat will help your manicure to last longer and protect your natural nail. The next step is to paint a layer of your base color. I am using Peas and Quiet by Pure Ice, which is a pale green polish. If your color isn't solid yet, then add a second coat, letting the polish dry in between layers. I actually like to paint liquid latex around my nail because I find it makes cleanup easier. Now that our nail is prepared, let's get to the stamping. When stamping, it is important to move very quickly, so make sure all of your supplies are nearby. Start by painting some of your stamping polish onto the chosen image, then scrape the polish very lightly at a 45 degree angle. This gets rid of excess polish and makes sure the entire image is covered. Then, using a slight flick of the wrist, lightly press the stamper to the design to transfer it. Next, use a rolling motion to roll the design onto the nail. Make sure it's placed where you want it. Peel off the liquid latex and seal in the design with a quick dry top coat. It definitely takes practice to get the stamping technique down, so don't worry if it doesn't work for you at first. For the next nail, I'm using small plus cute equals heart. I love this color, although it takes three coats to be completely opaque. I'm using latex again because I'm too lazy to clean all of the stamping off of my skin. Now it's time to get to the gradient stamping. Start by painting your first stamping polish onto the top half of the image, and then paint your second color onto the rest of it. Next, scrape the polish a few times to blend the color. Remember to scrape lightly. Pick up the image just as before and place it onto your nail. Remember to roll your stamper to make sure that all of the design makes it off of the stamp head. If you used liquid latex, now would be the time to take that off. Wait for a little bit to prevent smearing and then apply your quick dry top coat to seal in the design. Now you have a really cool design that fades from one color to the next. For the third nail, I'm starting with a white base coat because for this nail we're going to be doing a gradient. While that dries, I would highly recommend applying a latex barrier because cleanup for this technique is a lot more difficult than it was for the first two nails. Grab a makeup sponge like this one and paint your gradient polishes onto it in stripes as shown. I'm using Be Mine Forever by OPI, Sunkissed from Sally Hansen, and Fired Up Fuchsia from Salon Perfect. Now, dab the sponge onto the nail to blend all of the colors together. Add more coats until the desired effect is achieved. You can do this by applying more polish to the sponge and then just dabbing it on your nail as before. Peel off the liquid latex and add a quick dry top coat. For this nail, I'm using this mermaid silhouette. 
Now, as before, paint your polish onto the image, scrape, and pick it up with your stamper. Next, place it onto your nail. Now I'm just filling in the bottom so it looks like the mermaid isn't floating. Add yet another quick dry top coat. I think this technique is cool because you could do so many things with it. You could make it so that the stamping design actually fades into the gradient by using one of the same colors you used in the gradient to stamp. Or you could do what I did and make it look like there's a sunset behind one of your silhouettes. For this nail, I'm using a white base coat as well. This is Snow Me White by Sinful Colors. Okay, so once you have the image on your stamp head, it's time to fill it in with polish like I'm doing in the picture. Now that we're done with that, it's time to paint a quick dry top coat over the top. So make sure it's dry and then paint a very thin layer of your top coat. Once that is dry as well, peel it off with an orange stick or your finger. Make sure to be gentle or you might accidentally rip it. Paint a layer of clear polish onto your nail. I'm just using my quick dry top coat. If you're using a top coat, you'll need to move quickly because it will dry faster. Place the, uh, what do you call it, um, design pattern thingy onto your nail and trim off the edges. It will probably look a little bit bumpy and uneven, but adding a quick dry top coat will really help to even out the surface. This is probably one of my favorite techniques because it looks like it was so complicated and so hard to do, but once you get the hang of it, it really doesn't take long at all. This is my first reverse stamping that I ever did, and I've loved it ever since, so go check that out on my Instagram page, the link will be below. There it is, four different stamping techniques. Well that's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching. If that video was helpful or if you liked it, please, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos by me, please subscribe to my channel, The Polished Forest. If you have videos that you'd like me to do, please comment your ideas below because I want to make things that you guys want to see. So if there's something you want to see, please tell me and I will totally try and do it. I would just like to say that that sounded sarcastic, but I actually mean it. See y'all later. Bye.